I, I said, I think, in, in a few early interviews that, that, um, that the fact that it was fan-financed was, uh, was a big motivator in how I was approaching the film, how I was writing it. And I, I, and I got all these lovely emails from fans saying, you write the film that you believe in. You uh, don't listen to the fans. Just do the thing that you want to do. And, <laughs> Um, and that was nice, but I am a Veronica Mars fan, and I feel like I have many of the same Veronica Mars pleasure zones as anyone else. <laughs> We're all very clear. I will speak for everyone. <laughs> We're all very clear as to how and why this movie got made, and it's because of a lot of passion and a lot of hard-earned paychecks that they forked over in advance far exceeding the total of a movie theater ticket and said, yes, I want this project. And we're not flippant about that. You know, the greatest thing about Veronica is she just doesn't care what anyone else thinks. And I think that that's so attractive. It's like, I mean, it's why women are attractive when they have, when, you know, confidence is your mo you're at your most beautiful feature. And it's why bad boys are attractive. When you don't care about someone else's opinion of you <laughs> and you are your own sort of compass, it's an extremely attractive quality. And I think maybe, um, after a while, after so many interactions, because Veronica's never malicious, but she's very fair. She is steered by justice. And again, it's kind of like you can disagree with her, but you also got to tip your hat a little bit. So after many interactions with some of the characters that may have initially been her adversaries, I think, um, you know, they came around. Unless it was <laughs> Dick, and I think he just got scared of her. <laughs> I think it's interesting that, uh, you know, despite all his privilege and stuff like that, like, I think that, um, you know, he, a lot of people hurt him in his life, and she understood that part of him, even, I don't know, when she just saw me and whatever and what I was going through, I, I knew that she knew, and I knew sort of what it was like when she sort of had a bad relationship with her mother. And I don't know, there's just something deep, I don't know, I just look at her and I just feel it, man. <laughs> I'm trying to make this deep philosophical thing, and really, she just smiles at me, and it's game over. For me, it was it was hard because you already have family asking you who did it, and you really don't know. And <laughs> on top of that, so that automatically makes you start to try to figure it out. And I spent a lot of time with Kristen, so the hardest part about that was when you're trying to figure it out, she wouldn't tell you if she knew who did it, but she would definitely shoot down what you think. <laughs> you know. So, not making sense, she would tell me, no, well, how, why would he do it? Because that doesn't make sense. Well, I'm like, all right, Kristen, well, I'm, I just give up. I,